next on Betsy's Kindergarten Adventures. You can be in charge of handing out the prizes to the other kids. With all of that counting, adding, and subtracting, I knew I was in trouble. Let's go, Betsy, or you'll miss the school bus. You were late. We've been late a lot lately. O'Connor had told us that we could bring in items from home to help us with our math skills. So that morning, I was collecting a few pieces of my cereal to take to class. <laughs> Finish your breakfast, Betsy. It's time to catch the bus. I finished the oatmeal, and I'm taking some of the cereal to kindergarten for counting, adding, and... <laughs> Kevin! I was saving those! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he'd rather eat it than count it. Mom, there is no more cereal left. What am I going to do? Come on quickly, Betsy. You're late for the bus. See if you can share something with Billy. Okay. Bye, Kevin. <laughs> Enjoy school, dear. This was not good. I needed to find something else to use instead of my cereal. Good morning, Betsy. Hi, bus driver Bob. Do you think I could borrow your fingers and toes so I can practice my math in class today? Well, I would let you borrow my fingers, but then I'd have to drive the bus with my head, and that would be pretty silly looking, don't you think? Yep, you're probably right. Good job, class. I've never seen so much adding and subtracting in one room. Remember, take your time, count slowly, and use the items to help you keep track. Two ping pong balls plus two more ping pong balls equals one, two, three, four balls. Let's see, one word plus one word equals, how many words is this, Molly? Ew! Get those slimy things away from me, Billy! Oh. Let's see, Scotty. What do you have if you take away one of the four sandwiches? That's easy. One, two, three. Three. Thank you for letting me use the erasers, Mrs. O'Connor. No problem, Betsy. Now let's practice. How many erasers will you have if you add two more erasers to the two you have on the desk? Uh-oh. I was still working on my pluses and takeaways. Well, you get a lot of dust. Oh, 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 oh. <coughs> true. <coughs> well, let's do this together. One, two, three, four. Great job, Betsy. Okay, children, that's enough math for one day. Now we're going to plan fun activities for the class carnival on Friday. Yay! Now, does anyone have any ideas for fun activities that they would want to help do? What about face painting? Would anyone like to help with that? <laughs> I can do that. I know all about makeup and face painting. How about ring tossing? I 
love those. I can help people do that. What about a haunted room filled with creepy, crawly, scary things? Cut that out, Billy! Can I help Billy? I can play a creepy witch. Sure. I could help set up the booths and design the signs. That would be wonderful, Kenji. What about you, Scotty? What would you like to do? Well, I don't know. I've never been to a carnival. Oh. Well, at the carnival, there is a table with little prizes on it. You can be in charge of handing out the prizes to the other kids. Okay. But what are these tickets for? The kids will win these tickets when they're playing games at the other tables at the carnival. Then they will give their tickets to you, you'll count their tickets, and tell them what prizes they can get. So, I'll have to count all of their tickets, and then I'll have to give them the prize they have enough tickets to get? Yes, that's right. And it's an important job. We want to make sure that everybody gets his or her prize. But what if a lot of kids come up to me at one time, and I can't count fast enough, and... Sure you can, Scotty. You're really smart and great at counting. Will you help me, Betsy? Uh-oh. I wasn't expecting that. That's a good idea, Scotty. It's an important job that could use two people. Will you, Betsy? Please? Um... Okay. I guess. I secretly hoped that Scotty could count better than I could. Four, five, six! Perfect! Great job! You did a wonderful job helping design the carnival, Kenji. Oh, thank you, Mrs. O'Connor. Everybody helped. I just gave them some ideas. Nice work, Mrs. O'Connor. You too, Kenji. Is something wrong, Mr. Warner? No. Uh, I, I was just visiting Molly's booth and she painted my face. Well, it certainly looks colorful. Wait a minute, Mr. Warner! What's wrong, Molly? I forgot to paint your nose. There! Oh, you make a great clown, Mr. Warner. <laughs> uh, thanks, Kenji. <laughs> Very busy. How many tickets do we have, Scotty? Well, I don't know. I guess we better count them and see. You should probably do it. I might mess up. Well, okay. But you'll have to take tickets and give out the prizes if anyone comes up while I'm counting. Counting tickets? All by myself? Subtraction all by myself? Don't worry, you can do it, Betsy. I have to finish all of this counting before I lose my place. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. 11, 12, 13, 14. All I could do was hope that nobody would come up to the table with tickets. Hi, Betsy. We'd like to get a prize. Uh oh. Now, let's see. I have three tickets and Maria has two tickets. What kind of prize can we get? I hope we can get two of those pretty rings. I want the yellow one. Um, three tickets plus two tickets. Let's see, that's... Uh, Scotty? I have a question. Shh! I'm still counting. 20, 21, 22, Oh, yes. This ticket is Billy's. Three tickets plus two tickets take away one ticket. With all of that counting, adding, and subtracting, I knew I was in trouble. Hi, Betsy. I have five tickets. What can I get? 
Oh, wait. Forgot about this one. Now, what can I get? I really want that super-duper bouncy ball that lights up when it bounces. What about us, Betsy? Um, uh... What's wrong, Betsy? Scotty's busy. So I have to count tickets and do adding and subtracting all by myself. Well, it's okay, Betsy. Just take your time. Yeah, you can do it. Do you really think so? Of course, Betsy. Molly's right. Just take your time and you'll do fine. Okay, three tickets plus two tickets equals five tickets. Minus one ticket equals four tickets. You can get two rings because each ring costs two tickets. <gasps> rings? <laughs> Beautiful! Thanks, Betsy! And Kenji has five tickets plus one ticket. That equals six tickets. Here you go, Kenji. Playing cards. That's pretty cool, but I really wanted that bouncy ball. Sorry, Kenji. You would need ten tickets for the ball. You would need seven, eight, nine, ten, four more tickets. Hmm, well, let's see. Um, Kenji, I have another pink ring. I don't really need another one. I can give back the ring and you can have the two tickets. You would still need two more tickets. Here you go, Kenji. Thanks, guys. Now you guys can all play with the ball together. Hey, Ooh, that's, that's right, right Betsy. Counting is a lot easier when you take your time. It sure is. That goes for most things that you learn. It is sometimes confusing at first, but if you slow down and take things one step at a time, it can become a little easier. Nice job, partner. Scotty and I counted a bunch of tickets and gave out a lot of prizes. It was fun once I got the hang of it. Later on, Mrs. O'Connor watched the table so Scotty and I could have some carnival fun with my mom and Kevin. <laughs> wow, look at that! I want you on my team, Kevin. Your little brother must like it in there. Yeah, he doesn't want to leave. Billy and Maria did do a great job with the haunted room. With the help of bus driver Bob, of course. The little fellow must think I'm his <laughs> mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back through the haunted room again, Betsy. Follow me. <laughs> There's one thing I learned from counting tickets. I learned that I could really count on my friends to help me learn and understand things. One of the things I really like about kindergarten is that you never know what to expect each day. are fun, but I like school better. Kevin, no! Don't touch that! <laughs> Mom, I can't find my other shoe! Look under your bed, Betsy! Kevin, no! <laughs> Found it! Oh, 
Let's go, Betsy, or you'll miss the school bus. I just have to find my sweater. Hurry, Betsy, we're running out of time. Coming. <laughs> Sorry we're late. Thanks for waiting, bus driver Bob. No problem. Guess you folks are just running a little behind time today. We sure are, and I have a million things to do. Oh, well then, uh, you might want to change those shoes. What? Change my sh... Oh, no. Bye-bye, <laughs> Betsy. Bye, Mom. Bye, Kevin. <laughs> Yes, I know. Sorry. My father says people should always be on time. Hmm. On time? Hmm? I told you you couldn't stay on time! Lately, my mom has been complaining about there not being enough time to get things done. This got me thinking. Was the whole world running out of time? Hello, Sarah. Hi, bus driver Bob. Did you see the big game last night? I sure did. I never thought they'd go into double overtime, did you? No way, but it sure was exciting. Double overtime? Hmm. Sounds like some people have more time than they need. Maybe my mom should take up sports. Let's go, everyone. Let's not waste any time. Hmm. You can waste time, lose time, be on time, and even go into double overtime. I just wish I could tell time. Does anybody know what time it is? Molly? It's morning circle time, Mrs. O'Connor. That's right, Molly. It is morning circle time. Anything else? Um, no, nothing else. <laughs> well, can anyone else think of anything? Billy? Snack time? Not quite yet, Billy. Scott? Morning time? Yes, it is morning time. Anything else? Kenji? 812 o'clock? That was a very good guess, Kenji, but let me show you how a clock works. Let's start with the hands. The little hand is the hour hand. It tells us what hour of the day it is. The big hand is the minute hand. Anyone know what it tells us? What minute it is? That's right, Kenji. When the big hand is on the 12, it means that we're beginning a new hour. And if I move the little hand to the 10. 10 o'clock. Right again. And if I move the little hand all the way up to the 12 with the big hand, that would be... Lunchtime! LUNCHTIME! <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Billy, that's right. It would be lunchtime. But do you know what time it would be? Um, that would be, uh, 12 o'clock? That's right. Yes? All right, I'm telling time! I have a few time poems that I'd like to read to you, and I think they'll help you remember some of the many hours in our day. It's seven o'clock. Rise and shine. We want to get to school on time. At eight o'clock, we never fuss because that's the time we take the bus. It's nine o'clock and time for school. Today, we'll all learn something cool. 
At 10 and 11, we work and play, and that is how we spend our day. At 12 o'clock, it's time to eat. First a sandwich and then a treat. There's lots to learn and lots to do. From 1 o'clock and on past 2. At 3 o'clock, bus driver Bob drives everyone home because that's his job. We leave at 3 and are home by 4 to jump and run and play some more. Morning and afternoon, we're busy and bright. Then evening brings dinner, then all sleep tight. We dream our dreams, and the next day, we rise to greet a brand new day. Morning time, afternoon time, evening time, and night time. We aren't running out of time. We just need to use our time better. Hi, Betsy. What you doing? I'm thinking about time, Scott. My mom always seems to need more time. Oh, so that's why you were late for the school bus. Uh-huh. Maybe you should just get up earlier. Yeah, that's a great idea, Molly. <gasps> it is! <laughs> I mean, I know it is. When I get home tonight, I'll tell my mom about this idea. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. The big hand is called the minute hand, and the little hand is called the hour hand. After recess, Mrs. O'Connor handed out round pieces of paper to everyone, and we got to make our very own clocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. After we made our clocks, Mrs. O'Connor read a story to us about a rabbit who couldn't find his alarm clock. There you are, you wonderful alarm clock. I'll never misplace you again. Never, never, never. And look here, he's kissing the alarm clock. Isn't that silly? <laughs> <laughs> we were having so much fun that we almost didn't notice that it was 12 o'clock. But Billy sure did. Mrs. O'Connor! Mrs. O'Connor, it's lunchtime, Mrs. O'Connor! See, the big hand and the little hand are both on the 12th. That means lunchtime! That's right, Billy. It's 12 o'clock, and 12 o'clock means it's lunchtime. Mmm! Peanut butter and strawberry jelly. My favorite. After lunch, we all took a little nap. Shh! Woke up, we all practice counting from one to twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Before long, it was three o'clock and time to go home. Hi, kids. How was school today? Awesome bus driver, Bob. Great. It was delightful! We learned about clocks today. Clocks? Say, I ever tell you about my uncle who worked in a clock factory? No, what did he do? He just sat around and made faces. <laughs> I don't get it. Trust me, it's a very funny joke. I played in the backyard with Kevin and Gracie until dinner time. When it was time to go inside, my mom made dinner. After dinner, Dad and I cleaned the dishes, and then I helped Mom give Kevin a bath. After Kevin was asleep, I got ready for bed. 
So, what did you learn in school today, Betsy? I learned about time. Morning, afternoon, and evening. Oh? Uh-huh. In the morning, I get up, have breakfast, and go to school. In the afternoon, I have lunch, practice my numbers, and come home. And then in the evening, I have dinner and then go to bed. Morning, afternoon, and evening. What a day. Wow, you're learning to tell time. Yep, I know that when the big hand and the little hand on the clock are on 12, it's lunchtime. That's right. I also know we've been late a lot lately. <laughs> we sure have. So I was thinking, maybe we should get up a little earlier so we won't have to rush so much. Uh-huh. I think that's a wonderful idea. You do? I do. Of course, you know, this will mean that we have to go to bed a little earlier. The things I do to keep this family on time. <laughs> Good night, Betsy. Good night, Mom. Ready to go, Betsy? All ready. It sure feels good not to be so rushed, hmm, Betsy? I'll say. <laughs> Good morning, ladies. Good morning, Bus Driver Bob. Hello, Bus Driver Bob. Right on time, I see. We certainly are. Mm -hmm. Have a great day at school, sweetie. Okay, Mom. Oh my goodness, Molly. What happened to you? If you must know, I overslept. 